Okay, so why don't we do another interesting, fun uh, thing here? So whenever I move my controller, you can see that the eye is having that googly eye. And let's uh, create this. So uh, I'm just going to open a new scene. Don't save, and I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay, so uh, once you open Maya, then why don't we start? Okay, first thing, create a sphere, rotate Z to 90, and then I'm going to add a assign a material, new material. I'll use a AI standard surface. And uh, for the color, I'm going to use a ramp. So go to 2D textures, ramp, and you can you can choose a different color if you want. And hit the six key on your keyboard so that you can see that there's going to be this eyeball shape. And you can you can even do a different color like green or or blue or something different. Okay, so once you create the eye, or you can use a noise for more realistic kind of uh, eyeball. So once you create an eye, then next we have to create a joint. So uh, under the skeleton, create joints. Hold down the X key on your keyboard and snap and hit enter. So I created a joint here starting at the center of this grid and I created another one which is going to be one unit uh, on X. So I have joints created and I want that wiggly uh, jiggling kind of uh, movements. Before I do that, I have to bind it with a uh, skin bind with the joint and the geometry under the skin, bind skin, so that whenever I move my joint, the, the eye is going to move together with the joint. Okay, so yeah, next thing what we are, we are going to do here is uh, click this on nerve. Under the curve surface, there's going to be this third one, EP curve tool. Double click that and make sure that it's going to be set to one linear. As a reset tool, it's going to be set to three cubic, but change it to one linear and close it. And hold down the X key on your keyboard, snap, snap, and hit enter. So I made a curve from uh, 0, 0, 0 to uh, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so in the outliner, what I have here is I have a sphere, which is going to be my eye, and I have a joint. I have two joints, and I have one curve from starting from here to the end here. Okay, three things I created here. And next, what I'm going to do is I want this to have that jiggling uh, effects. So uh, select the curve. Go to M particles, soft body, and go to the option. And uh, if you reset the setting, it's just going to show the make soft. It's just going to create that. So change it to duplicate make, make coffee, copy soft and uh, make non soft the gore enabled. And the weight have to be set to one. And hit create. Once you create that, you are going to have this uh, soft body uh, copy of curve created. Select the M particle, the particle of the particle of that curve, and Shift I to isolate selection. Right mouse and uh, select the particle from the marking menu. Select all the particles. There's just going to be two particles, start and the end, and then under the window. Generate editor, go to the component editor. And right now the GORG PP is set to 1, which means that it's going to stick 
uh, is going to be affected 100% stick to the original curve which is going to be the curve 1 I'm going to set my second uh, point to 0.5 so if I set that to 0.5 the, the second uh, point here is going to not stick immediately but there's going to be those back and forth movements and then uh, try to stick to the original curve after Okay, so once you do that, I'm going to select, I'm going to use the IK spline, which is going to be under the skeleton menu. There's going to be a uh, IK spline handler, go to the option. And if you just reset the tool, it's going to show something like this. Un uncheck the uh, auto create curve because I want this curve to be affected. So un just uncheck that one and select two joints and control select the copy of curve then IK handler is going to be created and shift I to show everything here and uh, finally I want a controller here so uh, I'm going to create a nerve circle which is going to be my controller control G to group it move it down because it's kind of hard to select it right if it is right on top of the eyeball so I'll just move it down a little bit and here I'm going to select my joint and select my curve and parent it to my controller so it's going to be something like it's going to be created something like this and next uh, if I play it and make sure that this preference is set to play every frame and once you play this you're going to see that the eyeball is moving like this okay good so go back to the first frame set this translate XYZ to 0 and for more interest shape I'm going to change the shape as uh, over shape or a different shape so select the sphere and then under hold on the space bar deform lattice there's going to be a lattice create a lattice I'm going to set this shape to two uh, as division to two and right click and uh, select the lattice point just create some different funny uh, interesting shape you want and once you create that select all those lattice base and the lattice and parent it under the under the, the controller that you just made and one more thing before you finish this control A select the lattice control A and under the lattice uh, uh, FFD1 change this to OR because sometimes it's, it might bounce out from the uh, lattice and it's not going to be deformed it's not going to have that deformed shape that good so change that to OR and let's hide the IK handler I, uh, the copy curve and the lattice and even the joint because I don't really need to see those things Control H to hide them so the only thing I have here is the controller and the geometry so now I'll even hide the grid too and now if I play it you're going to see this uh, googly eye created 